Hi friends, this is Leela. Welcome to my channel Leela Web Dev. So this is our Angular application. We have created our Angular application in the in the previous video. Now it's time for us to write the first test. Already when you try to install this, create this new Angular application, the Angular CLI itself will create a sample test case for us. So for the app component, if you try to see, this is the app component spec file. So if you try to see, there are so many things, something like router testing module and uh, test bed app component. These all the things are there. So let, we'll try to see these all the things. So but but now in this uh, in this video, what we'll try to see, we'll try to go step by step. Now what I want to do is so first we will write the spec. So the initial basic spec, how we can write in this Angular application. Let's try to see this one. Let's go to this app and I am creating a spec file first test dot spec dot ts okay i am creating something like first test dot spec dot ts file and here if you try to see i am using the extension dot spec dot ts file so why we are creating with the dot spec dot ts file is now the karma test runner tool need to identify that okay this is the spec file and we need to this is a spec file and we need to execute it the karma will let you know now what i will try to do is so here we will try to write the first spec so write in jasmine so how we can write the spec file first we need to create a test suite so how to create a test suite we know that we need to create a test suite something like describe so describe will be used to create a test suite so here first one the first one it will take it is the string so the test suite title so what is the title how, what you can mention the title here we can mention the title as first test and the second parameter it will take anonymous function and in this function we will write the test cases now here so if you want to know about this test suite and all those things i have already covered in the jasmine testing course so if you want to know about this one you can go there and you can see this so here in the describe what i will try to do is so here i will try to create a variable so here i will create something like test variable okay of type any so just i am showing you so in this one next we will use the lifecycle method. So setup lifecycle method, something like before each. Okay. So this before each method, what it will try to do is it will be execute. This before each method will be execute every time way before when the test case is running. So before each time the test case is running, it will uh, the before each method will be run. So now what I will be doing is so here I will be creating test variable. Okay. I will mention it as empty object. That's it. So that means for every test case before running the test case so initialize this test variable to the empty object now now we need to write the test case so what i will try to do is so it so every time so when you are writing it means nothing but the test case so in just you will be using the test like this we can also use the it but here in the jasmine use the it so here the title should be in a such a way that it should return true if if a is true something like this okay so this one whole in the karma application how it will be trying to show it the test thing so here it will try to show something like first test in the first test thing so it will tell you that first test should return true if a is true so that you will be able to understand very easily when you are trying to see the test cases so for example let's say that we have a user service okay we have a user service and in this user service, we have a user get user method, get user method, and this should return the correct given user. So this is the test case. Now here the statement is in such a way that user service get user method should return the correct given user. So now if you want to write the test case for this one means how the test case title the description should be is first the user service we need to use the describe okay user service so next one we will be using is the anonymous function and in this one we have a get user method in this user service we have a get user method and we can write again describe so here get user method okay so here you will be having anonymous function again and in this one you will write the test case it should return the correct given user okay so now this is the notation how we will be writing the 
test cases the title the title definition how we will be writing is like this we will be writing so here what we have written user service get user method should return the correct given user so here user service get user method should return the correct given user this is how we will be writing the titles for the test cases so this is the notation we need to follow so hope you understood about this notation thing so this is the like this we will be following here in the same scenario in the first test it should return the true if a is true so now what we will be trying trying to do here here the you will be having a three play formula something like that arrange act and assert so first one is we need to arrange the data so arrange the data means nothing but what i can say is arrange initializing the data everything so now i will try to initialize test variable dot a is equal to false so first time it is false now we need to check the act so we need to do some logic and all those things so now do the, by doing the logic and all those things so now the a, a has become true let's assume okay so now what i will try to do now we need to do the assert okay now we need to do the assertion so now if you try to do the assertion so we need to do the we need to act right expect test variable okay dot a dot to be of true okay we need to check that whether the test variable dot a is true or not we need to check it so right now what is happening so this is a test suit and this is the test case so now test case should return true should return true means should accept when a is true so first one we need we need to initialize all the things what are the initialization and all those things arranging the variables and all those things we need to arrange it here so first at the at the initial phase it is false let's assume that the a the a key is false now next we need to do the logic so whatever the method we are trying to call it we will try to call all the methods and all those things and we need to check that whether the variable a is true or not so here we don't have any methods or anything just i am making it as true and i am checking that that whether the test variable dot a is true or not so this is the first test case we have written so now we have written the test case now it's time for us to test the test our first test so how we can test as we already know in the package dot json file we have npm test this is the command so let's try to open here and here let's try to do npm test if i try to run this npm test if you want you can also run it in the in uh, command prompt also but i am using this uh, visual studio code uh, inbuilt uh, terminal so here i am trying to run ng test it will try to check all the spec files and all those things so as we are uh, as the cli has already created a spec file for uh, spec file for us so this uh, spec also will be executed and this it, uh, the karma also searches for this first test dot spec dot ts file and it will execute this one also let's try to see total we have three tests three plus one four tests are there so let's try to see whether it has been executed or not here it has been executed now karma has launched the browser so here if we try to see see this is our first test and it should return true if it a is true so now this has been successfully passed if you want to see now let's try to say that i want to check that now i want to see that if it is false or not so it should a should be false but we have made it as true now the test has now the test has to return false so now if you try to see here expected true to be false but we are exp but we are expecting false but it has written true it seems so this is how we will be check we will be writing the test cases and we will be executing the test cases in the angular application in the next video we will go how to do all the test cases and all those things let's try to explore more so this is how we will be writing the first test so this is not the first this is not the actual test and all those things i am showing you how we will be writing the test cases in an angular application so this doesn't mean to any component or anything just i am showing you this i am creating a file first test and i am showing it to you hope you understood about this test case thing if you have any doubts or any suggestions please post the comments below to this video and if you like this video please do support me by subscribing to my channel thank you